Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, chain of responsibility design pattern real time example. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, chain of responsibility design pattern introduction where I have explained uh, what is chain of responsibility design pattern and uh, where to use uh, chain of responsibility design pattern etc. So first watch that video tutorial then come and watch uh, this tutorial so that you will understand uh, this one clearly. And uh, like we discussed in the chain of responsibility introduction uh, uh, tutorial, there are two scenarios are there. First one is only one receiver in the chain handles the request. Another one is one or more receivers in the chain handles the request. Okay. First we will see what is uh, only one receiver in the chain handles the request. Okay. So in the left side you can see quiz master and uh, right side uh, there are uh, persons uh, first person is john and the second person is david and uh, third person is raj okay so the quiz master what he is doing is he is asking some question so in this chain the first person is uh, john right so john uh, receives the question and he will uh, try to answer the question if he knows he will answer that if he doesn't know then he will pass the question to the next person in the chain right suppose say uh, he ask uh, quiz master asking one question and John know the answer so he tells the answer to the quiz master once he tell the answer to the quiz master the, quest, uh, the John won't pass the question to the next person so it ends here only okay suppose the quiz master asks questions to the John and uh, John receives the question he doesn't know the answer then he will pass the question to the second uh, person in the chain so which is David so if David know the answer, he will answer that. It will end it here only. It uh, David won't pass the question to the next person. And the second scenario is one or more receivers in the chain handles the request. Okay. And here uh, you can see the ATM machine. Okay. And here you can see hundred rupees handlers, uh, which will uh, give hundred rupees. And another one is fifty rupees handlers, which will give fifty rupees. Another one is 20 rupees handler which will give 20 rupees. Another one is 5 rupees handler which will give 5 rupees. And here you can see the ATM machine. And left side you can see John. Okay. So John is the customer. Uh, he come to the ATM uh, uh, machine and he tries to withdraw the money. So first he will uh, insert his card and he will type his uh, pin number. Then uh, he will type uh, 455 rupees. Okay. So that 455 rupees uh, he is trying to withdraw from the ATM machine. So once he uh, did that one, uh, the ATM will send request to the 100 rupees handler. So what 100 rupees handler will uh, do is it will give 400 rupees note. Okay. Then uh, remaining 55 rupees are there. So it will send uh, request to the next to next handler, which is 50 rupees handler. So 50 rupees handler, what it will do is it will give 150 rupees, right? So 400 plus 50, uh, 450 rupees uh, it has uh, given. Okay. So remaining 5 rupees is there. So it will uh, send uh, request to the next handler which is 20 rupees handler. So only remaining is 5 rupees is there. So this won't do any operation or it won't give any 20 rupees because only 5 rupees is remaining. right? So it won't do any operation. Then uh, what this 20 rupees handler will do is it will pass request to the next handler which is 5 rupees handler then this 5 rupees handler what it will do is it will give 1 5 rupees so total 4 into 100 400 1 into 50 50 and 1 into 5 5 so total 450 rupees it will deliver so this is the best example of one or more receivers in the chain handles the request so in this case uh, the request is 455 rupees uh, withdraw that has handled by multiple handlers right 100 rupees handler 50 rupees handler and 5 rupees handler so this is the best example of one or more receivers in the chain handles the request. So this is the best um, best example of only one uh, receivers in the chain handles the request, right? So quizmaster asks the question. Uh, if anyone knows the answer, uh, the uh, the question won't pass to the next person. Suppose uh, quizmaster send the question. If uh, John know the answer, then he will answer that. Yeah, then uh, once he answered, John won't pass the question to the next person. If he doesn't know only, he will pass the question to the next person. If next person knows the answer, then it will stop it here only. Okay. So 
this is like uh, only one receiver in the chain handles a request okay and uh, this is about uh, chain of responsibility design pattern real time example and i have created a separate video for uh, chain of responsibility design pattern class diagram and chain of responsibility design pattern implementation so please uh, now log into my channel and watch those tutorial so that you will understand uh, this chain of responsibility design pattern very clearly and thanks for watching bye